All right, I'm going to demonstrate a variation of a bent press here. And this is kind of an odd exercise. And to some extremes, it's used, it was used as a strongman movement using a barbell. Um, people uh, practicing with kettlebells use this as well, usually with a lot heavier weight. It's a very technical movement. And since I am primarily a teacher of yoga and calisthenics, I'm mostly interested in the weighted mobility of the movement from here. So I'm only using about 25 pounds, so I'm not taking this too heavy. And that may even be too much to start. So if you're not sure what you can handle, take hold of a five pound weight or a 10 pound weight so you got enough resistance. And if you're not that flexible, you're gonna have to work things out and feel things out. And the more flexibility you have or the more mobility, I should say, so you have strength and length in positions, the better off you are. Um, and there's a bunch of variations of this, but I'm working primarily with the twist and get it in the inner thighs. So from here, what you want to do is take hold of weight. And you can use a dumbbell, a kettlebell, whatever suits you best. If you want to get crazy with the barbell, actually, I'm not even going to go into that. It's going to be way more technical and has a lot more risk. But I'm going to take hold of this in my right hand and just come up. Now, what happens here is basically this isn't so much of a, of a press as it is putting your body under the weight that you're holding. So I'd say to set the feet wide a little wider than your hips, and there are other leg positions you can take this to further out or even closer in. Be sure you balance and you firm and you support and start with a bend in both knees. Now from here, I'm just gonna swing the weight up to my shoulders, or to the shoulder, I should say, and keep the elbow pulled in. Now you're gonna bring the weight behind the shoulder and start to lean. So my elbow's coming in just to the top of my pelvis from here. And then I'm gonna keep the weight at this height and bring my body underneath it as I come down. Now, as I come down, we're gonna bend into the knees. My left arm's gonna go down. You can put your hand on the floor. You can put your other arm on the thigh to support you if you need a break at any point. And you can just reach behind and keep that hand lifted. So I'm slowly gonna twist and try to take this down and keep that weight at the same point in space as I bring this down until I can straighten my arm. Now, I'm already rotated out to my right side. I'm gonna keep this stable and keep the weight stacked over my shoulder and then come all the way to standing with the arm up high and then pull back down. And then I'm gonna, do, to do this repetitions, I just go ahead and continue the same way. Bringing the weight behind and bring the elbow behind toward my pelvis as I'm leaning. I'm gonna press my hips back, bend into the knees. And then as I'm reaching down, I'm trying to keep the weight at the same position in space as my body comes down underneath. And then keep it stacked over my shoulder as I come all the way to vertical. And then back down. I'll take the other side from here. So switching hands, I'll just swing this up and bring this to my shoulder. And again, I'm gonna keep that bend in both knees, bring the elbow behind, bring the weight behind, and bring the arm down. Now, I'm gonna to try to keep that weight in space again as I twist and come down. And then keep the weight up high as I come up to standing. And it's a tricky position, keep in mind. One more time like that. I'll bring the weight behind, the elbow comes toward the pelvis. As I come down, and then all the way up. And just to show you what it's like taking heavier weight, I'm going to grab another one here. Give me just a moment. All right, and this is an extreme relative to what people do with kettlebells here, but this is gonna be 40 pounds. So a little bit more load, and it's very tricky to keep that weight stacked, keep in mind. So you gotta take things bit by bit and feel how it goes. So I'm gonna swing the weight up and bring it to the shoulder, and then bring the weight behind and bring the elbow to my hip and press the hips back. I got the knees bent. I can always rest the other arm on my thigh. And as I come down, I'm gonna open this up, bring it down low, and then stack the weight over my shoulder. And then all the way up to vertical. And then down, and again, elbow behind. I'm gonna sink my hips down a little bit and try to keep the weight at the same point in space and keep it stacked as I come up all the way. And let's switch this out. So again, up to the shoulder, a little bend in the knees with the hips back. The weight comes behind, the elbow comes toward my pelvis. I'm gonna to start to sink down. And then one more time.
And again, it's a little bit tricky. And it's best to start this out with a lighter weight than you think you need, so you can feel where everything is in space, and especially just keeping the arm as vertical as possible with the weight stacked over your shoulder. So it's an interesting work. It's interesting work for getting more strength in your overhead pressing movement, the tension through the shoulders, and really strengthening out your lats in particular in the triceps. So hope this helps.